Well, saving on airfare may have many of you taking a chance with internet travel sites, but bidding online doesn't have to be scary, especially if you know the inner secrets of Priceline.com. Matt Markovich teaches us, and a very familiar space captain, how to beat the popular site in tonight's Consumer Report. Ah, that search for the best summer vacation deal. The Priceline price that we saw was 71. A while ago, I showed you how to beat Priceline. How you really can get the lowest possible rate for a hotel room. But Priceline changed a few things, closed some loopholes. I can still beat it, and I'm not afraid of... Priceline Negotiator! Hey, that's Captain Kirk. He's Priceline's spokesman now. I think it's time I taught Captain Kirk how to beat Priceline. <laughs> Captain? What in the name of... Captain, Starfleet has beamed me aboard the Enterprise to teach you how to beat Priceline. Am I... seeing things? What is it, Mr. Spock? A projection? Not a projection, sir. Captain, as you should know, Priceline lets you name your own price for airline tickets, hotel stays, and car rentals. If Priceline accepts your bid, that's what you pay. How about it, Spock? Fascinating. Captain, Let's say you want to stay in Las Vegas. We're 900 light years from that kind of desert bone. Okay. Well, let's say you want to stay in a four-star hotel in downtown Seattle. Before you start bidding, do your research. Go to biddingfortravel.com or betterbidding.com. Here, users post their winning and losing bids on Priceline. If I go to Seattle and I look for a four-star downtown hotel, I see that the winning bids are running roughly $100 to $120 a night. Telepathy, unquestionably. The key to beating Priceline is a free rebid system. I select downtown Seattle and four star hotel. I start bidding at $80. I get rejected. Normally, if I don't change the star level, the area, or the date, Priceline makes me wait 24 hours to bid again. But here's how you can bid multiple times in just a few minutes and be guaranteed to stay exactly where you want. That wouldn't be difficult to explain. It would be impossible, Captain. Not so, Spock. The key is finding all the zones that don't have a four-star hotel or higher. I click downtown Seattle. There's a four-star hotel there, but when I click Bothell, the four-star dot is grayed out. I click Lake Union, and the four-star dot is grayed out again. Because, Captain, there are no four-star hotels in these zones. These are my free rebid zones. Are you sure? Yes. I select downtown Seattle. And after a bid is rejected, I keep adding areas that don't have a four-star hotel. And if I mix up my zone combinations, I can actually bid 86 times. And if Priceline accepts my bid, I will only get a hotel in downtown Seattle because that's the only place where I'm bidding that has a four-star hotel. Spock, how do you read that? Extremely efficient, Captain. Whether that indicates intelligence is another matter. After 10 bids, adding a dollar each time, bingo! I got a room at the Sheraton for 90 bucks. Checking Sheraton's website, the cheapest room on this date is $139, a saving of roughly 50 bucks. Pretty good savings, wouldn't you say, Captain? <laughs> so that's how you beat Priceline, Captain. Free rebids! Free rebids! Free rebids! Check off, take us out of orbit, warp factor two, and hurry. In Seattle, Matt Markovich, Como 4 News. Whew, I hope you got all that. For now, just, just beam me up. We'll be right back.